everybody, this is Mary, your GTEC guru, and I'm here once again for another edition of G Suite Tips. For today, I am going to show you four Google Meet extensions that could help you with your um, webinars and your sessions with your students. And if you're using G Suite for education and uh, you're still using other video conference tools because some of these features are missing, well, I would urge you to go back to Google Meet and check out these extensions that would really help you in running those synchronous sessions with your students. So the first one would be to be able to see everybody in a grid view. The second one is to be able to blur backgrounds and to also add some filters onto your Google Meet. The third is to add an emoji reaction as well as a raise hand feature in your Google Meet sessions. And the final one is to be able to create a breakout room easily as well as to check attendance in your um, Google Meet synchronous sessions. So let's start. I know that some of you may be wondering, how do you put in a layout in here that would show you all of the participants in the meeting? And currently you have um, a, the native feature of Google Meet by clicking on the kebab right there below. Uh, I call it the kebab, the three dots. And what you do is you go to the change layout and once you go to the change layout, it will give you the options. So again, click on the three dots, click on change layout, and you now have different uh, options in here. You can click on tiled, spotlight, or sidebar, or you can click on auto. The thing with that is you can only display 16 uh, people at a time in your uh, grid view or layout view in your Google Meet. And sometimes you have a lot more participants. What, what if you have like 30 or 40 students in your class or a lot more participants in your Google Meet? So what happens then? One of the things that you can install is something called Google Meet Grid View. So this is what it is. And note that all of the uh, links to these extensions are going to be in the description box below. So don't worry about that. Here you can see that you'll be able to see all of your participants in one nicely laid out view. If you have lots of participants, as in the image below, uh, as in the image that you can see right now on my screen, then um, yeah, that would be a great way for you to see, especially if you would like to do a quick uh, picture, you know, like a class picture. Uh, then it's uh, easier for you to, to do that. So what happens? Once you install that, you'll be able to see this nice little grid looking thing in here and you have certain options like highlight the speakers including yourself in the grid enabling grid view by default etc and only um, showing you the participants that you would like to show in your in your grid so let's say i have my um, three participants right now which are all me of course and I'm gonna click on grid view so that I can show all of these participants. I'm currently pinned. And if you're currently pinned, note that um, your participants are not gonna show up because you're pinning yourself. You have to unpin yourself first so that all of your participants will show up. You can see here that I have, uh, I've joined using my phone. I also have uh, Bruce Wayne in here and I did not, let me just include myself again, include yourself in the grid so that I can see myself right here on the side. Okay, and the other thing that you can do is when you click on this one, you can toggle between this as well as um, the, the normal layout view that you have. My second um, tip right now, and I'm just gonna remove the grid view. My second tip is the changing of the layout or the background layout. And that's gonna show up here on the left-hand corner. And this is called visual effects for Google Meet. All right, so the visual effects for Google Meet, uh, you can add this extension and this is what it does. There's so many things you can do here. You can have um, filter effects, you can have 2D effects as well as 3D effects. And let me show all of those effects to you. Uh, I've got two things here that I always use. The first one is the background blur. So I can actually blur my background. Take a look at my background right now. I can actually blur that as well as control the amount of blur that I have behind me all right this is especially useful when you have students that are a little self-conscious about the backgrounds that they have in their homes or if you're meeting in a crowded place and there are many faces behind you that you wouldn't want them to be seen on your 
feed all right so you can uh, blur the background you can also blur yourself what if you're being interviewed and you would like to be kept anonymous you can then blur your face the other one is you can put in different effects in here just test it out there are some fun effects like for example you can put a bubble um these are bubbles that have your face in there you can have different um contrast and you can even combine these uh, effects together some of them are great some of them not so it really depends what you like and uh, the other thing that i always use is this one like if i have to leave the screen for a while you would normally just say i'm sorry i just have to leave for a while or maybe you have to go to the bathroom and what you would normally do is you uh, click on the camera icon and you turn your camera off right but here what you can do is you can just smile and then freeze so that's what happens so when you smile and freeze then your camera will be frozen in this case and then when you come back you just unfreeze yourself there and then the other things that you can do here is that you can also pixelate again if you would like to keep yourself anonymous you can pixelate and also put in some text displays and also a green screen background but this one though i just have to let you know that you can um you will be kind of combined with the background a little bit so I'm not really preferring uh, putting a green screen, uh, but if you are a fan of uh, different backgrounds, yeah, give this a try, definitely. And you do have different face filters like sunglasses, halo, and graduate. Let me put in a halo on my head. All right, there it is. Looks like a donut. All right. <laughs> There. So uh, the other one that I have right now for you is the Nod Reactions for Google Meet. And what is this for? The Nod Reactions for Google Meet allows you to react to, say, students or as a student, you can react to the speaker. And it shows up as uh, these things up top on the left hand corner of your screen. So you can click on raise hand if you want to raise hand so you can see it there. Mary raised their hand. And also you can uh, add reactions like a like. Our reaction if you heard something that you actually like like an aha moment and I would really like you to do that if you heard something today that you really like please hit the like button or uh, please comment on what your aha moment is for today and the final one that I have for you is the Google meet attendees and breakout rooms this is great because I do know that some people who are on Google Meet are saying, oh, we need breakout rooms. How can you do breakout rooms? And this is the solution for me right now is to add this extension. It's added here. As you can see there, it would be added here as an extension on your, um, on your Google Meet. And what happens is you can then take a look at, just add the attendance there. And then you can actually show the group generator. And the group generator would allow you to um, find out how many users do you want in the group and the number of groups that you would like to create and then click on generate groups and it will generate the group for you. And when you click on these buttons here, it will lead you to the meet group of these groups that have been created. So yeah, so it's kind of an easy way for you to create these groups right away from your Google Meet screen. That's it for our four Google Meet extensions that could help you out with your Google Meet synchronous sessions. I hope you learned something new today. And if you like that video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for you to be informed of new videos that I'll be dropping um, every week. So aside from that, if you uh, would like to support me as well as a video creator here on YouTube, you can buy me a coffee using um, co-p.com slash and I really, really would appreciate that as well. So thank you very much and I'll see you again in